Sanctification is the will of God. He makes a possession for the saints according to the will of God. Verse 34. In verse 34, who is, who is he that condemned It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also, look at that, who also make intercession for us. It now was in heaven, because when we, when you read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, he was up there, and he made intercession for us when he was on earth. Now he is in heaven. It's at the right hand of God, and he made intercession for us. He makes intercession for sinners tonight as you join that intercession. You'll be saved. He makes intercession for the sea. And tonight, as you link your faith with that intercession of Christ, whatever your sickness, however long the sickness has been there, because he maketh intercession for the sea, tonight you are healed in Jesus' name. He maketh intercession for the saints, and as I join your faith to that intercession of Christ tonight, they will sanctify you. They will purify you. They will make you holy and give you that holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. How the saints have been there. That the intercession of Christ becomes efficacious for you and become a reality in your life. I say, chapter 55, I'm reading from verse 6. I say, chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. You, you want salvation? Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. You want your sickness to be healed? Seek him the Lord while he may be found. You want the attack, the affliction, the oppression of the devil to be cleared away from your life? Seek him the Lord while he may be found. You want your soul sanctified, purified, made righteous, living in practical holiness of life? Seek him the Lord while he may be found. Look at verse 7. In verse 7, let the wicked forsake his way, and the righteous man is called, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon you. Mercy comes to you tonight. I said mercy comes to you tonight. Salvation by the mercy of God. Healing by the mercy of God. Deliverance by the mercy of God. The joy of heaven and the joy of salvation in your heart tonight because of the mercy of God. Say, it will have mercy on me tonight. Say it will have mercy. It will have mercy upon you tonight in Jesus' name. And let him return unto our God for he will abundantly call it. We're coming to number three. Number three is a powerful intervention for individuals with Impossibility, impossibility. Uh, when somebody has um, a kind of habit, a kind of character that he himself does not like, and he fights against it, and he struggles against it, the anger has got him into trouble more times than he can be. And he wants that anger to turn him over. And he tries, and he tries, and he tries. And he's always getting into anger and into problems. When somebody has animosity, and that animosity, hatred, has taken him, who takes away from him more times than he thought. He 
balls to be free from that animosity and yet she is not able to be free love that's an impossibility in its life somebody else affliction and that affliction has drained the family cause it's gone here gone there looking for solution and no solution has come he has fasted he has prayed he has gone to pray for me prophets he has gone everywhere and yet that affliction continues that is an impossibility. When somebody is trying to raise up a business and he has tried and tried and he has put his whole life saving into it, but he's always going back to square one and there is nothing he can show for all the things he has invested that becomes an impossibility. And when somebody has family problem, and that family problem is going to cancel up, it's gone here and there, and the family problem continues, and is taking everything away from him. That is an impossibility. Whatever impossibility you have, there's divine, powerful intervention tonight. They will intervene for you. He will come unto you. He will remove everything you have as an impossibility in your life in Jesus' name. Look at Matthew chapter 19, and I'm reading from verse 25. Matthew chapter 19, reading from verse 25. When his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed and surprised, saying, Who then can be saved? When there's a blockage in your way, you try to be saved, you thought you were saved, but lo and behold, the evidence of salvation, a change of life has not been there. And then you say, Can I be saved ever? This month's edition is no different. Look at verse 26, God in verse 26, when Jesus beheld them and said unto them, with men, this is impossible all the way from the to USA, convert the wicked man the with God men, this is impossible to set free, to deliver that afflicted man from his affliction Good with men. And welcome to this day three is of this impossible to transform up the sinful soul to become a saved so soul with men. This with is impossible. And to change the terrible man, the terrible woman, and that fellow that goes around and is a terror to everyone. It's a terror to those who are older than him. It's a terror to he is an age mate. It's a terror to the people who are under him. It says with men, this is impossible because the terrorizing nature is in him. God was God. Same into the that one. Was, we that worship man, the God lunatic. who is. We that worship man, the God who ever more for say, with that me. That will call himself. I we will go to the tomb and people have tried to find you with chains, but he could not be found because that affliction, that demon possession was impossible for men to set him free. But and we won't be quiet. All things are possible. The day he met Jesus, that they're going to meet Jesus tonight. Those chains were broken. The demons were cast out. And the legions were so terrified, they got out of him and they received the presence of mind, peace of mind, 
we sing to the God who heals. We sing to the God who saves. We sing to the God who always makes a way. For you. Salvation he for you. Sanctification for believers. And my God still deliverance for those who are oppressed and tormented. But with God, all the things the Lord. are possible. We're looking at Mark chapter 9. Mark chapter 9, verse 23, Jesus said unto him, If God can believe all things tonight, are possible to be the believer. I believe. I believe. All those things you found impossible in your personal life. All those things you found impossible in your private life. All those things you found impossible in your family life. All things you found impossible in your health. All those things you found impossible, you couldn't extricate yourself and take yourself out of the hand. Of the evil doers, you can't pay him a impossible tonight. Tonight, they are possible in Jesus' name. Jesus said unto him, and as he said, as you remember, it's an impartial intercessor. What he said unto him, he said unto him, if thou canst believe. Tonight, all things are possible to be that believers. It will be done in my life. In your life, it will be done in Jesus' name. Tonight, possibilities are possible. The power of heaven that makes impossibilities possible. Is coming us. in your life tonight Come in Jesus' name. Us. Are you ready for him? I said, the Lord. are you ready the for him? You want to meet your intercessor? Come He's been praying for you for a long time. And now, come what he's been praying for you for, your forgiveness is going to come to reality now. Your freedom is going to come to reality now. Your salvation is going to come to reality now. The intercessor is coming to you tonight to intervene in every area of your life. Say it well. Say it like you believe it. Let's bow, eyes closed. The Lord wants to take away all the punishment of your sin, the pressure of your sin, the pollution of your sin. He wants to take away the agony concerning in your sinful life. He wants to forgive you. He wants to give you salvation. And whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Tonight, let's bow the night close to want that salvation of the Lord that he himself has been praying for, interceding for you. Now you want the reality of that salvation, a transformation in your life, a change in your life, the forgiveness of your sin. Wherever you are, raise up that hand. Let Jesus see you there, that you want the forgiveness the salvation, the freedom, the redemption that you have been praying for, that you will have. It's of that time to say, Lord, hear my heart. You have been interceding for me, praying for me, that I 
will be saved. I will be forgiven. Praise from that time. If there is no pure heart, you will stand up. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Heaven sees you there. There is no pure heart. You want that impossibility of conquering sin. You want that impossibility to become possible. Raise up that hand and stand up. As you are standing up, whisper to the Lord there. Pray unto the Lord there. Lord, I know I'm a sinner. My sin injures heaven. Injures my neighbor. Injures people around me. I am injurious. My character, my behavior, my lifestyle. Injures my neighbors, but I do not love them as myself. I don't consider them, I don't consider their happiness or their joy. My life is injurious. Lord, forgive me. Lord, change my life. Lord, transform my life. I try to turn over a new leaf by myself. I don't want to make it now. Christ, Savior, Lord, Intercessor, pray for me. Tell me, tell me. He will save you. He will forgive you. He will save you. And there will be peace in your heart. There will be the joy of salvation in your life. Amen. Praying with you now. Keep your hand up as you are standing up. Father, in Jesus' name, all these, my brothers and sisters, they have come to you here at the Alpha location, there online. Lord, I pray according to your intercession for every sinner. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that you will turn their lives around right now. I pray all of the wastage in their lives. I pray, Lord, you bring a worthy life unto them in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, the forgiveness come to them right now. The imputation of your righteousness come to them now in Jesus' name. And the impartation of your righteousness come to everyone now in Jesus' name. Lord, we believe in you. They believe in Christ. And I pray that the salvation that follows faith Christ will come to everyone right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you. Our counselors are there. And the counselors will interact with you and will have, you know, the details they are asking so that we can follow up with you that their salvation will abide in Jesus' name. Can you say amen to that one? And as believers who are there, remember, you made intercession for your sanctification. While we're doing this now, just bow your head and tell the Lord, oh Lord, I know without holiness no man shall see the Lord. And you have made intercession for my sanctification and holiness. Sanctify me, purify me. While we're doing all this, then as you are praying, they will answer your prayer and sanctify you in Jesus' name. And then after we finish this, I'll be coming back to pray for the sick because he's also making intercession for the sick. We're called on our officiating uh, overseer tonight to help us with this counseling session. You have made a very great decision tonight to follow Jesus.
Jesus Christ. To turn away from your sin and to give your life to Christ. Our counselors are there. Just give them your details and they will be taking down your details so that they can be able to help you. I want you to know that the Lord wants you to return the decision you have made tonight. And that's why they are getting your details. So tell them the truth. You are now a child of God. And you will describe where you are living. Give them your names and all that things that they are asking for. They will use that to follow you up pray for you and to help you to stand in your decision. And if you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link gckhq.org forward slash connect it's down there below your player you click it and fill the form so we can assist you further in your new work with Christ also if you are listening via the radio or television and you just gave your life to Christ send your name your phone number and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to this number plus 234 Once again, Plus two three four. You can do nine better. one five. You can do better. Four four four. You can do nine better. Two, six three. The hour have come. For the spirit. There will God be a special and God meeting tomorrow. To be used as a by three p.m. That meeting is called Lunch Hour with upon Jesus. Upon and all of us who have given our welcome lives to Christ tonight should not forget to attend that meeting. It will be taking place in the Praise the Lord Church Auditorium. I know you have been welcomed. Hall 7. Please take note of that. Personally myself, all the people who are here, young and old, Men and women, it will be taking place tomorrow by 3 p.m. today at the Church Men day. Auditorium Hall 7. Today you'll find that our God is real. There will also real be a believer, special believers banquet in for all those who and gave their lives to Christ during this crusade on it's Sunday, the 3rd of March. Father, 2024. We thank you today and bless in all our name. churches globally, we know you are a God more details about this will be sent to every time, you. Everywhere, a pastor will be delighted God. to have Everyone you today join this special banquet. Miracles of mercy in their lives in Jesus the upper name. locations, believers' the banquet on Sunday, 3rd March, the reality 2024. Of your the at Deeper Life Campground, Room Odara, here along East West Road, Port Harcourt. So Everywhere the time is 3 p.m. Let's not forget that. So please, Jesus while they, those who gave their lives to Christ in every are Thank giving you, their Lord. details in to Jesus those name we pray. Who are collecting them? We we'll please want you. You can see down today. all the others to We're be committing themselves the name into the Jesus. hands of the Lord. Pray that because the there pastor will be coming back. 
to pray for those that are sick tonight. Miracles will not miss you. Your miracle will be there. We locate you where you are. So be committing yourself into the hands of the Lord. And don't forget those who have received one miracle or the other. So please share your testimony with us. If you receive a miracle through the WhatsApp number that is displayed on the screen, the testimony link on the screen. You can also record the video of your testimony and share with us via WhatsApp and Telegram. So don't forget all that. And the possibilities Please, and the ushers, can you hasten up? Give every one of them Jesus attention. Name. It says, he let none be missed. That believes on me, and the works that let I their do, data do that you are collecting be thorough. If they are living where my father, we don't have 13, any street name or street number, you can please my name, help our counselors by describing the place. Tonight, you can tell them the name by which you are you. called if you ask so that today, we'll use that to welcome to you, identify you. To you tonight in Jesus name. So please, the Prosperity, counselors, progress coming upon your life. Success, Can you please be fast? To you tonight in Jesus name. And Our pastor is waiting. You shall ask in my name that will tonight. I so take your time Father, and attend to everybody. In the sun. Look at verse 14. Please may I know if he shall ask if we anything. are true Look this left hand side. Anything. Please if we are true the, the supervisor there heart. should raise your flag. You okay. Thank you very much. You for? He says, at if the central area here anything. just in, in front of name, me. I will okay. Thank you very but much. At the right hand side, my right hand side, if you are true, okay, we are all true, so shall we all rise up as our pastor comes back to pour upon us the prayers, get ready. Number one, the mighty, amen. What Jesus prayed for, it's not you receive right now. It's intercession will always be effective. In his name, he prayed for the sick asking and is praying for you right now. That sickness will vanish away. That infirmity will vanish there away. Whatever you have found Jesus, impossible two, in the area the of your healing tonight it is possible. Jesus, no and so that identify that you. sickness we talk of and two people lay your hand and where you have the challenge and raise up the other and hand. And, and as we pray, each other in but line they with the prayer of Jesus, and everything they try in by line with the intercession of Jesus, they will bring and that intervention, of aid, that healing, the hand of that deliverance, and brings them here tonight. Together. Hey, the and when you hear the final the one, amen, the God of heaven, you me, know that heaven the one has accomplished that is born, it. I believe I, I will see it done. Raise up that hand sin. and lay the other hand sin. where you have the and challenge. The Your miracle is, is coming right now. Jesus Father, hand in Jesus' name, and then he holds the hand of the we know that Christ has won the strike. 
for every wants covering, healing, for every sin, everyone here, ever everyone and online, and and we're asking, Lord, tonight, accomplish that which Christ has interceded for in Jesus' name. From the top of it to the tip of the toe, bring your healing miracle upon everyone right now. That is sanity. I command you, come out in Jesus' name. I will receive those demons attacking your life, harassing your life. I command those demons, come out in Jesus' name. We're looking at the mighty Lord, I pray for those who have had of Jesus, incurable disease, one, cancer, and be healed in Jesus' and name. For all generations, also, everyone, everyone, be healed in Jesus' name. And thou shalt call Hypertension, his name high blood Jesus pressure. For thee. The hand of Jesus the Lord is upon you right now. Thee. You are healed in Jesus' name. Diabetes, I want to cure any time. I pray the Lord will touch you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. And I pray for those who have respiratory problems. I'm asking, Lord, all that asthma, everything will be healed right now. You are healed in Jesus' name. Because it says he and it's swelling in your he body. Our Jesus, back, he our goiter, savior and redeemer. And he shall uh, near. save Elephant his pierces from the big legs. The Lord touch you right now. Be healed now in Jesus' name. Sin is that bondage. swelling. Come out sin in Jesus' name. Fibroid, come out in Jesus' name. The hands are tied. And that problem in your kidney, the feet I pray, tied. Lord, life. Bondage. Welcome to that the kidney. The voice is Lord, I pray your healing will touch that area too. Than himself. Every bondage. part of their lives, the sinner, every part of their body. By I'm asking coach, Lord by the road, healing by the chain miracle and those blind eyes be opened in Jesus name deliver the ears don't turn the hand of the Lord is he touching you right now you are healed in Jesus name from stroke you are healed you will rise of up sin. and walk. The power of Your sin. hands the will function normally. Your so feet will function normally. Those who are paralyzed or lame or one leg he shorter he than the other, he miracle healing. Salvation miracle deliverance. Receive our your miracle in Jesus' our name. Mediator. The mighty Lord, I pray one, everywhere shall to the left, his people to the right, in the middle, Congratulations tonight. at the front, Salvation is at the back, online, he's so over the radio, that everything that over the you, television. The I send forth you, your healing you power everywhere by yourself, in Jesus' Christ name. Has come and Christ will save you. Your intervention you and intercession Lord, in every life. Has come today. Uh, As we open our eyes now, we open our eyes to miracles. And we open our eyes to healing. We open our eyes to deliverance. It is done. Everybody ought to know In Jesus' name, we pray. Check up yourself. The miracle, your miracle is there. Check up. Thank you, Pastor. Everybody, praise the Lord. You are here tonight. 
for freedom. Transformational freedom. Supernatural freedom. I want you to think that every word we reach, every word from Christ, every word from heaven comes to you personally, individually, as a person that is going to be set free tonight. It will happen in Jesus' name. Some people attend meetings like this as if we are here. But if you think, if you believe that you as an individual, I am here, and that this program was put together because of me, miracles will happen in your life. Everything you have been missing before, everything that eluded you in the past, today will be your day. Miracle from on high, freedom from on high, salvation from on high, peace of mind and the joy of heaven in your heart in Jesus' name. I will not miss my miracle. Anywhere you are here, anywhere you are in the world, you are connected to a television, you are connected to the radio, online, you are there, you know that this global crusade is for you as an individual and that heaven will reach out to you and touch your life Miracle has started already in your life. If you are there, you are not thinking about this or that, that person or the other person, and you know, here am I. Let the heavens open on my life. Wherever you are, raise up your hand. We're praying together. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come today, this first day, and we're asking that, Lord, heaven will reach out to everyone. Power will reach out to everyone. Deliverance, salvation, freedom, forgiveness, everything you have in store for us in heaven, pour it down for everyone in Jesus' name. Glorify yourself in every life. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. And we will see your manifestation in every life tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you. It is done in my life. In my life. It is done. The Lord confirm it in every life in Jesus' name. Please, you can sit down. Tonight, we are coming to Mark chapter 5. There are three things I'm looking at in Mark chapter 5. One, there was a demon possessed man. They've been there for a long time like that. But Jesus came and on that day, that wonderful day, that he met Jesus. Deliverance came to him. Number one, he was set free from evil spirit, from evil power, and from evil manipulation. And tonight, anyone bound, anyone under attack, anyone under affliction, affliction of the devil, deliverance has come for you tonight in Jesus' name. Number one, sets us free from demons. Number two, in that same chapter, we have a, a woman having disease. The disease has been for a long time, and she has tried. She's gone here and gone there, and she tried to get free from that disease. Again, it was when she met Jesus, like you are meeting Jesus tonight, the healer, the deliverer, and the one that sets us free from every, 
every form of disease to meet him tonight, you are free in Jesus' name. A disease had been for a long, long time. And yet, no matter how long that disease had been, that the permission had been, and that injury in your life, in her life, had been, Jesus had been living from all eternity before Satan, before sin entered the world, and before sickness entered the world, and because Jesus, the eternal one, is wonderful, is mighty, there is nothing impossible with him. She met Jesus, and she was healed tonight. I'm introducing Jesus to heaven, you. He never lost any battle. He never missed anyone. And tonight, healing comes in. Heaven. It says that Freedom from disease. Number three, I told you number one, there was a demon in a man, and the Lord set him free. Disease in the and woman, and the Lord said, her free. Your now the son, there's a home. And in that home, the messengers of death visited them in the home. Amen. And Christ came, one, the living the one. Anywhere Christ Jesus comes, Life will replace death. And when Christ comes to you today, life will replace death in your life in Jesus' name. And as Jesus entered, the people were already crying. He said, don't cry. The child is not dead in his own evaluation. Because he knew before he ever got to that room and before he taught that girl, he knew that girl will come alive. And tonight, before we even pray, the Lord has seen you there. Give me a good amen. And any form of death in your life, the Lord Jesus will drive that messenger of death away from your life in Jesus' name. Mark chapter 5. A man, a woman, a teenager. Mark chapter 5. The problem of demonic possession and the problem of disease ravaging a life and the problem of death wanting to cut short that girl's life. Every form of problem, all the problems you can think about, either demonic or death or demons or disease, Christ is in authority. And he can set you free. And tonight, your freedom has come. My freedom has come. Let, let me read to you now. I'm looking at Mark chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 15. It says, And they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion. He had a lot of devils inside him. And he was now sitting and clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. They were surprised. They were amazed. It bothers them. How could that happen? In one single word, the Lord Jesus in his authority and divine power are driven the devils away. One word tonight. That one word comes to you and your problems are over. Look at number two. I'm reading from verse 25. In verse 25, and a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. And then in verse 26, it says, and have suffered many things of many physicians, and have spent all that she 
he are and was nothing better but rather from year to year from month to month from day to day she grew worse and then in verse 27 when she heard of Jesus who are we talking about tonight who are you hearing about tonight when she heard of Jesus when you hear of Jesus salvation will come forgiveness will come peace of mind will come the joy of life will come to you only one thing hear of Jesus he is the problem solver he solves all the problems of your life and it takes away all the heartache and all the evil that had bombarded your life. Welcome, welcome to your freedom tonight in Jesus' name. When she had heard of Jesus, she came. You have to come. She came. You have to make an effort. You have to come. I'll touch Jesus, I'll believe in Jesus, I will lean on Jesus, I will confess to Jesus, I will lay all my problems down at the feet of Jesus. You come, he came from heaven so that he can touch your life, he can give you freedom. Now, because he came and he says, your freedom is here, supernatural freedom, you have to come unto the Lord. She came in the prayers behind and touched his garment. Look at verse 28. In verse 28, for she said, you must say something. You cannot just fold your hand and close your mouth and close your eyes and just, just be there. Past you, just standing there, you see, you have to say something to God. You know you are a sinner. You need salvation. You have to say something to Christ. You are demon possessed. You are tormented by demons. And you want total freedom, supernatural freedom. You have to open your mouth. You have to say, say something to the Lord. You say, Lord, I'm here. You say, Lord, I believe in you. You say, Lord, freedom comes to me today. You say, Lord, I cannot carry my problem back because you are the problem taker. You say, for she said, you must say something. You are here so that you make your need, you make your aspiration, you make your desire, you make your demand known unto the Lord. You are he here for him, he and he is here for you. Men, he and he will solve he your problem. For she, for she said, he may, he I may, may but touch its clothes, I shall behold. Be he said, this is my day. She said, I. Whatever happens to others, whatever others get, whatever others do not get, I shall behold. Number one, a problem of demons. Number two, a problem of disease. Number three, a problem of death. Look at verse 35. In verse 35, while he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, Satan, which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? Look at verse 36. In verse 36, as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. He said, It's not the size of the problem. 
it's not the height of the mountains, it's not the length of days the problem has taken, it is not what the people of the world say and the right of your daughter or your son or maybe yourself, it is not what you say, it is what you bring out in your mind, be not afraid, only believe, tonight I believe. I believe for you. You believe for yourself. And you join your faith with my faith. The Lord Jesus already believed. That's why he said unto the man, unto the father, unto the head of the house. He said, be not afraid. Only believe. And as you believe tonight, your problems are solved. Tonight, I'm talking to you on transformational freedom through faith in Christ. Transformational, something that will transform your heart, transform your body, transform your soul, transform your situation, transform you through and through inward, outward, external, internal, that will transform you completely. Transformational freedom through faith in Christ. We're looking at this under three subtitles. We're looking at number one, amazing freedom from the shackles of the devil. Amazing freedom. Surprising freedom. A kind of freedom the man was not even expecting. Will it come? Will it not come? It will come. Amazing freedom from the shackles of the devil. Number two, announced freedom. That woman announced it to herself. And she said, 12 years of Israel blood, I have suffered, I spent money, and it's like I've come to the end of my rope. And then she announced, if I may but touch the hem of his coming, I today, I shall be made whole. And now freedom from sickness and disease. Number three, applicable freedom from the spirit of death. Tonight, you're free. Say to yourself, tonight I am free. You are free in Jesus' name. Let's look at number one there. Number one, amazing freedom from the shackles of the devil. When you look at Mark chapter 5, and I'm reading from verse 2, Mark chapter 5, verse 2, and when he was come out of the sheep, that is when Christ came out of the sheep, immediately there met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit. A violent spirit, a destructive spirit. Look at verse 3 there. In verse 3, it says, Who had a dwelling among the tombs? He couldn't live normal, in a normal place, in a normal house, in a normal situation. So he had a dwelling in the tombs. And it says, And no man could bind him, no. Not with chains. Verse 4. In verse 4, it tells us because that he had been often bound with fetters, with chains, and the chains had been plugged asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. Any man, no matter how strong, no matter how trained as an expert to deal with people having mental problems that are lunatics, that add so much power of the demon of the devil in him. Verse 5, in verse 5, 
had always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But six tells us, but when you saw Jesus afar off, your problem is coming to an end. When he saw Jesus afar off, you know, whatever the challenge had been, and he said, is that devil, is that Satan, is Lucifer, is the old serpent, don't worry about that, about the source of the problem, about the strength of the oppressor. It says, when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. That's all you need to do. You run in the direction of Jesus. You run at the, to the feet of Jesus. You run so that you can be in the presence of Jesus. And that's why I call people at the end of the message, you want to see Jesus, you want to see the Savior, you want to see the Redeemer, you want to have your problems solved, wherever you are, raise up your hand, and the Lord will see that hand. He will know that your heart, your mind is passionate after the Lord, is pursuing after the Lord. You want to reach the Lord, and he wants to reach you, and you take that step of faith with the assurance, once I I see him tonight, and I touch him tonight, I am all right. You'll be all right tonight. I said you'll be all right tonight. And then he tells us in verse 7, in verse 7 it says, and he cried with a loud voice and said, what have I to do with thee? Look at this man running to Jesus. That's the devil talking inside him. Have you noticed? You want to do something, go right. And then there's another boy that will say, go left. That's not you. You overlook that one. You abandon that one. You neglect that one. The one that says, come to Jesus, this is the day. The one that says, bow to Jesus, this is your day. The one that says, confess to Jesus, this is your day. That's the one you listen to, but the other one that says another thing, you're not going to listen to that. And so he said, Jesus, thou son of the most high, I adjure thee that my God, that thou torment me not. That's not the man, that's the devil. I pray you will not yield to the voice of the devil. As the Lord is calling you, and as the Lord Jesus wants to set you free that. today, and he wants to give you this freedom in your spirit, in your soul, in your mind, in your inner man, and there is a desire. You want to be with the Lord. Any other voice that contradicts that, that says, why will you come? Look at this, look at this, look at that. That one is not your portion. And so, in verse 8, look at verse 8, it says, and you said unto him, come out of the man. Thou of these spirits, that's the final word. I said that the final word. Once the Lord speaks to that evil personality, he speaks to that evil power. He speaks to that evil spirit that has been controlling your life, tormenting your life. Hurting your life, hindering your progress. Once the Lord says, Come out of the man, thou of his spirit, that very moment it will come out. You will be free. Like tonight, you are free. Verse 15 tells us the result. In verse 15, it tells us, it says in verse 15, and they come to Jesus. They wanted to come and see. And they see him that was possessed with the devil. He was no more. He was possessed. He was no more possessed at this time who was possessed with the devil. 
and ask the legion. He asked the legion after Christ has spoken, after Christ has commanded, after the word of prosperity and the word of the decree of Christ had come. He didn't have the legion anymore. They were all gone. Today, they have all become. And then it says he was sitting, he was clothed, and in his right mind. And they were afraid, they were surprised, they were amazed at the amazing freedom that Christ had given to the man. I want you to look at Mark chapter 9. And we're looking at verse 20. Mark chapter 9, verse 20. And they brought him unto him. That is, they brought the child, the boy, the son of the man that had the torment of the devil. They brought that child to him, to Christ. And when he saw him, straightway the spirit cheered him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed for me. Verse 21. In verse 21, and Jesus and he asked his father, How long is such a good since this came unto him? And he said of a child, in verse 22, and he said, and of times he had cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Did Jesus help him? Yes, and Jesus Christ the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Will Jesus help you today? His compassions, they fail not. His compassions, they reach unto heaven. His compassion is from generation to generation, from man to man, from one woman to another woman, from one child to another child. His compassion is still there today. And he says, if thou canst do anything, my friend, you can do everything. The creator of the earth can do you everything. The one that you call our problems, so our sins, so our sickness, that you call our problem to the cross of Calvary. He can do everything. The one that is not willing that anyone should perish. He doesn't want the sinner to perish. He doesn't want the sufferer to perish. He doesn't want even the scorner to perish. He doesn't want any man, anywhere, anytime, in any generation. He doesn't want anyone to perish. He can help. He will help. Tonight, it will help you. Tonight, it will deliver you. And look at what Jesus said in verse 23. In verse 23, Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, that's all we need, I told you. All we need is to understand. The one who created the whole earth with a single word, he can do everything. Believe that. The one who says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, he invited you already. And because he invited you, you can believe. If thou canst believe, the one who has set people like you in days come by, he has sealed many people, he has delivered many people, he has taken drug addicts, and he has taken the drugs away from them. The person who has given peace of mind, rest in their soul to other people, he is here for you. And so you ought to believe it. And if thou canst believe all things, are possible to him that believe it. I believe. To take you from I believe they can deliver every demon possessed here tonight. I believe he can set free anyone that is bound with any yoke and any chain and any fetters. He can deliver everyone like that tonight. And your own time has come. 
he will deliver you. In Hebrews chapter 2, reading from verse 14, Hebrews chapter 2, reading from verse 14, for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same that he through death might destroy him that had the power of death. That is, is the devil. He has died for us. Jesus and he has fulfilled the prophecy that the serpent will bruise a seal, but the Son of God, the seed of the woman, will blow up, will destroy, will crush the head of that serpent. That serpent and spirit in your life, the head is crushed tonight. That demonic power tormenting your life and wanting to make you live like an animal instead of living a dignified life life of the real child of God, that demonic devil, that demonic serpent, the head is crushed tonight in Jesus' name. Look at verse 15, in verse 15, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Those who are subjected themselves to bondage because of the power of the evil one. Tonight, deliverance has now come. In First John chapter 3, verse 8, he that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, for this reason, to this end, because of this, it says the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. It is finished. All the works of the devil finished. The torment of the devil finished. And the dribbling the of the radio, devil drive you here, drive you there, and drive you everywhere. The All the dribbling of the devil finish and destroy tonight in Jesus' so name. Amazing freedom is coming to you. To because of what Christ has done, what Christ has accomplished, what Christ announced, what Christ decreed and he said, it is finished. That amazing freedom it's come tonight, and you're free from all the shackles of the devil. We're coming to number two. Number two is the announced freedom from, the, from sickness and disease. Sickness. There are many kinds of sickness, all manner of sicknesses. The Lord will deliver you tonight. Internal, painful, terrible, long-standing, your healing has come tonight. Freedom from sickness and freedom from disease. Anything that takes your ease away, that takes your peace away, that takes your might. You cannot even think of any other thing. All you can think of is the pain you have, is the oppression you have. Is the destruction of different parts of your body. You cannot think of any good, any good work, any good intention. All that pain has taken your attention away from a bright future, a great future. But there's the announced freedom from sickness and disease. Who makes the announcement? You make the announcement. The woman made the announcement that is I may only touch the hem of the garment. I shall be made whole. Your word will set you free. The word of faith in your mouth, the word of expectation coming from your mouth, and the word of assurance that today is my day. Are you blind? You make the announcement, I will see. Are you deaf and dumb? You make the announcement for your son, for your daughter, for your wife, for your husband. 
they will hear, hear they will and see. Are you, are, are you bedridden? Yes. You've been there for okay. a long time, Anywhere. and it appears <laughs> maybe I should be preparing to go home name. because this sickness may you take my life. Your word can sell you into the hands of that disease. But Jesus your word can also set you free, you and you say, you I shall you be made whole. Lord, can you say it now? Save them now in Jesus I'm going to name. get well tonight. Right. I'm, I'm delivered tonight. I am set free Lord, tonight. Our words can set us free. And Announced from freedom them, from sickness and disease. We're looking at Mark chapter 5, you remember? All these three cases come from Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5, reading from verse 25. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years, verse 26, in verse 26, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and I spent all that she had, I was nothing better, just going down and down and down, and my stone end in the grave. But rather, she grew worse, worse and worse, declining in health, declining in strength, declining in life. Because she was getting worse and worse by the day. In verse 27, verse 27 says, When she had heard of Jesus, thank God. are there with you, you supply all the information they are asking for. The reason is because we want to help you stand firm. We want to help you live a Christian life. We want to help you live a victorious life over sin, over temptation, over Satan. So the information you are supplying is to assist you. So feel free give your full name. If you have a nickname, give it. Popular name you are known for. Known with. Give that name. And then give your phone number, 11 digit, correct number. That will use it to check on you, to assist you, to encourage you, to pray with you. The convener of this DK wants to know about your spiritual welfare. That's why we're asking for the information. So you supply the information, then put the address, how you can be located. If you are working, you give us the address of where you are working, or you are schooling, or you are a uh, trader. You can give address if you don't stay at home normal, normally in the afternoon or in the evening, but you are free in the office, or free at place of work, or free in the market. We can locate you there and assist you to grow. So please, counselors, get the detail. Write in capital letters. If you can write yourself, they will give you the form to fill. But write in capital letters so that we can read what you have written and use it to assist you. If you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message, this evening, there is a link, gckhq.org slash connect below your player. Click it and fill the form so we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. Also, if you are listening via the radio or television and you just gave your life to Christ, Send your name, phone number, and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to plus 
four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. I go to it again. Plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. Again, there will be a special meeting, lunch hour with Jesus. For all those who gave their life to Jesus, tomorrow by 3 p.m. at the usual venue. So when you come, we will now take you there. That's the White House. Once you come, go to the White House. The brethren will be there to attend to you. There will be a special believers banquet for all those who gave their lives to Christ during this crusade on Sunday, 3rd March 2024 in all our churches globally. More details about this will be sent to you. Our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. But the Alpha Lopez Church Banquet on Sunday, 3rd March 2024, will be at Deeper Life Campground, Rumudara, along East West Road, Portacot. That's this place. So when you come on Sunday at 3 p.m., you will see us. So the Lord has said that all this we have made available, all this provision he has made available is to help you to make sure you don't miss it. Can't tell us, please, let's be fast. And if you are through in your own cluster, you go to the next cluster to assist them. Let's be sure that nobody is left out. And check what you have written, cross-check, Verify, if you gave it to them to write, verify what they have written to ensure they gave you the correct address and the phone number as 11 digits. As he says again, if you are listening via radio or television and you gave your life to Christ, please look at the link that is just there on your, that's especially those on television, online, there is a link, gckhq.org slash connect. Below your player, please click it and fill the form and also submit. And if your own is through radio or television, the number again to contact is plus 234 Four four nine two six three. Cancel us. Let's be up and doing. Don't forget the banquet, the believers, the the, the lunch hour with Jesus tomorrow at three p.m. Those who gave their life to Christ, even today during the Impact Academy, to also attend the lunch hour tomorrow at three p.m. And those who have been coming, those who gave their life to Christ on Thursday, on Friday, please don't also miss the lunch hour tomorrow, 3 p.m. at White House. And don't forget the Believers Banquet on Sunday, 3rd March, at 3 p.m. in all our churches globally. And here at Rumodara, the Alpha location. So please, you can tell us if you are true, can you signify? Now, if they are true with you, let me tell you what you are going to do before the man of God, the covenant comes to pray for us. Today is day three. These three things must be done. Number one, if they are true with you, or you have given your life to Christ before, you're a child of God, now, this is the first thing you do. You start talking to God in prayer. 
telling God your own need, telling God your expectation. And as you are doing that, our Father in the Lord, the covenant will now come and talk to God on your behalf, telling God your need. And then, when, once you talk to God, there will be a transfer of power, transfer of miracle from heaven to you. And today, you will receive a spiritual alert. An alert will come to you. A lot of miracle, miracle of salvation, miracle of healing, miracle of deliverance, miracle of freedom. And then, once you get the alert, normally when people get a lot, either of a chat card or a lot of money, they rejoice. They are happy. They thank the sender. So, as God sends a lot to us, a lot of miracle, you will rejoice. You will run away. You will rejoice with us. We will thank God. We will send thanks back to God. There will be time for thanksgiving. We will worship God. We will praise God. We will joy in the presence of God together. And then you testify of what the Lord has done. And say, look, I've got an alert. Look, I've got my own. Look, I've got my own. But now you will start talking to God. You will start talking to God. Why we are waiting for the, the counselors to come back. And once they are through with you, you don't look here and there. Start talking to God and say, God, yes, you're giving me salvation. I also need this other one. I also need this other one. You are getting triple miracles today. Open your mouth and start talking to God while we are waiting for the counselors to signal us that they are through with the counseling before we invite the man of God, the convener, to come and talk to God on our behalf. And there will be a transfer of miracles to you today. We are waiting for the counselors. Yes, I love the way that man is talking to God. Join him and talk to God. Don't look around. Don't look here and there. Talk to God. Because today, God will not pass you by. Counselors, if you are through, please, can you signify? Okay. Thank you. God bless you. To my right, I can see them. To here, then to my left, if you are through. Counselors, can we see you? Okay. God bless you. God bless you. Now, we're going to rise up to welcome the man of God, the convener of GCK, a father in the Lord who will stand in the gap and talk to God on our behalf and there will be a transfer of miracles to you. Amen. Heaven has said amen to your miracle. You lift your hand when you have the challenge. You raise up the other hand. And at the final, amen. The amen here and the amen coming from heaven will bring an explosion of miracle in your life. Raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have the sickness, the disease, the infirmity, the impotence, whatever. Father, in Jesus' name, that name will never fail. Mighty, powerful, healing, delivering. Lord, do it for everyone in Jesus' name. Any insanity in the brain, take it away in Jesus' name. Any swelling in the body, any part of the body, touch them now. Swelling, come out in Jesus' name. Your kidney, your lungs, your throat, internal problem. Lord, I pray, reach out to them right there now. Heal them in Jesus' name. Long-standing problem. Cancer at any stage. Ulcer at any level. Whatever. Touch them right now. Heal them right now. There's miracle of mercy to everyone in Jesus' name. Blind eyes, the Lord is opening your eyes right now. And I pray at the mention of the name of Jesus, those blind eyes 
those dim eyesight, I pray, be healed in Jesus' name. The deaf and the dumb. Lord, I pray, touch their ears. Touch their tongues. And as they open their mouth, they'll speak out well. And they will hear sound properly in Jesus' name. Arthritis, lameness, paralysis, I pray you touch them now. You heal them and now. Bring strength to their joints and strength to their ankle bones and strength to all those bones in Jesus' name. Broken bones, be mended, be joined together, be healed in Jesus' name. Short hand, withered hand, grow out. Be healed in Jesus' name. Polio, short leg, grow out right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. To the right, to the left, to the center, to the back, online, radio, television, viewers, everyone now, receive your miracle. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Lord, let there be a confirmation from heaven for everyone. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. If you have received, let me hear your amen. amen. Claim it. I've received. I've received. I've received. I didn't hear you. I've received. They check up, check up, check up. The Lord has done it. The Lord has visited you. Check up, check up, check up. If you have received, let's hear another resounding amen. As you check up, you discover what the Lord has done. You start coming out because we're going to praise God now. And as we're praising God now, the power of God is still moving. Nobody should move. Nobody should move. God's power is moving now. You are going to share your testimony tonight. As we are singing now, you will join the choristers and sing it because we are happy. God has visited you. God has touched you. God has healed you. God has delivered you. As we are singing now, you will sing. You will sing. You will rejoice. You will see what God has done. And as you just see your miracle, you start coming out. Dance and start coming out. Joy, you be led and start coming out. Because the power of God is here now. I have received. You have received. We cannot go back empty-handed. Open your mouth and just thank God for what God has done for you and say, God, I thank you. You have touched me. 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 I will not live here the same. God has visited you. God has opened heaven. Now we are going to join the choristers and sing and worship God as we are doing that. Start coming out. Start coming out. If you have got your miracle, come out to my left. To the, this tent here, we will see you now. Okay, okay, sir. Can you give us a song? Everybody, we are going to rejoice together right now in the presence of God as we join the orchestra. Sing. He's a miracle working God. He's working in our midst now. Let me hear you sing. If you are happy, if you believe God is a miracle working God, sing it, sing it, sing it. As you are singing, your miracle will be there with you. And once you say your miracle, start coming to my left hand side. Come to this chair. Yes, I can see some people coming out now. Start coming, start coming. The miracle working God is working now. Once you say your own, start coming out. Start coming out, start coming out. Go to my left and meet our counselor. Yes, I'm happy the way you are happy. The miracle working God is here. Anywhere you are, you see your miracle, start coming out. We will hear your testimony. Sing, sing, sing. The miracle working God is here. The miracle working God is here. If you have received your miracle, start coming. I can see some coming already. Join them, join them, join them. Go to my left. Our leaders will bring you here to come and share testimony. Yes. Sing. The miracle working God is doing something. He's doing something here tonight. This is night of 
miracle. Night of miracle. You will not be left behind. Moshe, praise God. It's a God that answers prayer. It's a God that works miracles. Yes, yeah, sing, 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 sing. If you are happy, and once you see God are doing your own, come to my land. You know, as you are worshiping God, the power of God is moving. The power of God is touching people, healing people, delivering people. As you see your own, start coming out. Start now to listen to the testimony. The first testifier, please come. While others are giving their own testimony, check yourself. Once you discover you got your own, you come and share your testimony. Please, the first testifier, can you come? Let's hear your testimony. Online, be preparing because I know the power of God is moving globally. As we are sharing testimony here, 